Have you ever wondered why chess, a game that's over 1,500 years old, continues to captivate millions around the world? Well, let's delve into this fascinating game and its strategies. Imagine the chessboard as your battlefield, comprised of 64 squares, each holding its own strategic importance. Here, two armies clash, each maneuver carefully orchestrated. It's crucial to understand this board, your battlefield, because in chess, just like in war, Every square is a potential turning point. Remember, chess isn't just a game, it's a war on a board. Every square matters. Now that you understand the battlefield, let's meet your soldiers, the chess pieces, each with its unique abilities and limitations. Imagine a toolbox. Your pawns are like the humble screwdriver, straightforward and reliable, moving one square forward unless they're capturing. The rooks are your hammers, smashing through the ranks and files with brute force. Knights, akin to wrenches, have unique tricky movements, leaping over pieces in an L shape. The bishops are like pliers, working the diagonals with precision. Now, the queen, she's your power drill, versatile and potent, moving any number of squares in any direction. Lastly, the king, your tape measure, the most vital yet vulnerable tool moving just one square at a time in any direction. So, remember, just like you wouldn't use a hammer to drive a screw, each chess piece has its role on the board. Think of it like this. If chess were a band, your pieces would be your musicians, each playing their part in your symphony of strategy. That's music to any chess player's ears, isn't it? With the battlefield and soldiers at our disposal, we now need a battle plan. What's chess without a little strategy, right? In chess, as in life, the center stage holds the key. Controlling the center squares of the board gives your pieces the freedom to move and dictate the flow of the game. It's like having the high ground in a battle. You can see what's coming and act accordingly. Next, we've got developing pieces. This means getting your soldiers, the chess pieces, out from their starting positions and into the game. It's like waking up your troops at dawn for a surprise attack. The faster you can get your pieces into action, the more control you'll have. And then there's the king, the heart of your army, the one you need to protect at all costs. If the king falls, the game is over, so keep him safe. Use your other pieces to create a protective barrier around him. It's like having your own personal bodyguard team. Now, here's a little jest for you. Why don't chess players ever pass the salt at dinner? Because they might lose their bishop. Just a bit of chess humor there. Remember, a good strategy can turn the tide of any chess game. So keep these tips in mind and you'll be checkmating your opponent in no time.